Greetings guys, Pemba66 here. Hope you're uh, enjoying it so far. This game, Crisis 2, you know, it displays some of the best graphics I've ever seen on a console. And the, the best graphics on a PC, of course. But this whole campaign's been recorded with either DX3 or Fraps, whichever was working best on the day because it is a bit hit and miss. You know, you can get problems with the video signal being broken up. Any comments, please, to help me suss out why that happens. You know, I'd appreciate it. Because you start recording and it's all jerky and it's all broken up, you know. Pixelated and crap. And then, all of a sudden, it just unfucks itself. <laughs> you pardon the expression. And it sorts itself out. And you've been able to record like this. And this is why, why I persevere. Because the visuals are far better than any capture card software. Even capture card software that captures HDMI gameplay. You know. There's another method by using a DVI, HDMI to DVI converter. But still, you can record in HDMI, but still from your capture card. And your capture card will not capture gameplay as clearly as this. This is Al Al Alcatraz's um, flashbacks. It's all I can do now. You are all I can do. They used to call me Prophet. Remember me. Mm. Right, look at these graphics. Are so beautiful. Thing is, on my PC, I've got a DX. I've got um, what do you call it? Um, Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Okay. Now, I forget the. It's like 2.8 or 2.9 or something gigahertz. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh God! About stinks in this room. Oh, that's that's horrible. That, all them dead bodies. But look at the lighting effects when you pick this up. This is why I picked it up. But as I say, I've got. A, Core 2 Duo processor, so I'm able to make gameplay, you know, at this frame rate. What I want to know in the comments section, perhaps, is if I have a faster PC like an i7 processor, processor, would it be smoother than this? Would I be able, to, you know, capture smoother gameplay than this, or a better graphics card or whatever, you know? Plus, as I go back to that problem with the video signal being broken up, you know, when you first start recording, and it is a pain in the ass and when you just want to record beautiful images like this. You know, this is the only problem with it. But, like I say, if anybody knows how to combat that, then let me know. On with the mission. This when you open the door for the first time, if you've never played the game, just have a look at this. Is that not beautiful? Now this DX3 file was huge, and I mean, there's like nearly 100 gigabytes as well. In between 50 and 70 gigabytes it was. I think it was, if I remember rightly. But this, what you're watching, is a WMV. Saved as one of them in uh, Sony Vegas. I don't want to detract from what's going on the screen so much by rambling on too much, but um, I find an AVI file with Fraps or DX3, when you use Sony Vegas to render that file, which it recognises no problem, you render it as a WMV as opposed to MP4. I normally use MP4 with normal recordings. But with recordings like this, I use WMV because WMV and AVI seem to agree with one another. I try an MP4, and it comes out all pixelated and blocky. It starts out nice and then starts to get pixelated and blocky. And you think, all that time I've waited for that video to be done. Can't preview it when, well, when an MP4 is being made, being rendered, you can't preview it, but you can with a WMV, so there's another advantage. If you want to see how your video's looking, you know, so that the video's halfway through, even 10% done, you can you can have a quick preview. And if it looks right on your eyes there, you know, you carry on, don't you? 
One adv that's one of a few advantages with WMV. Trying to take him out with silence pistol here. Notice if you first play the game, you won't have these unlocks for your gun. It's just I've played it quite a few times. There we go. Pick his weapon up. Change the sights. That's another thing. The, all the sights and everything. All these options I've got here. There, when you first start the game, those options are locked. So you have to play through it a few times, like I have. Complete the games a couple of times, you know. I'm looking at the Liberty Statue of Liberty in the background there. And it's one of the most gorgeous graphical games I've ever seen. It's just astounding. It's a sad sight, isn't it? One of the most iconic, one of the natural wonders of the world, that statue. See it half destroyed, you know, it's quite um, disheartening. But it's only a video game, so don't don't start crying just yet. <laughs> now, let's, how shall I take this dude out? He's having it, he's having it. That bit takes too long. There we go. Take him out with a pistol. I was going to melee him, but like you can do, like breaking the neck or stabbing them. But I want to practice using a laser sight and a pistol. There you are. He's down straight away. So is he. It's far more satisfying when you do it silently and in one shot. You know, it takes more skill. But, uh, you Listen, know, let's have a bit of a, a mess about here. Let's explode that. Oh, yes. Now, these these guns here, these um, cannons, they actually work. <laughs> you can't put, I don't know if you can position them, but I thought I'd uh, set them off. I mean, I think the idea there is you can, they're pointed at where the two soldiers are at the beginning. And you can probably blow the pair of them up by doing that. That's, uh, I know from experience there's about three Seth um, mercenaries. Not Seth, uh, Cell, Cell mercenaries. Guns for hire, you know. Not real soldiers. Yes. Actually, I've highlighted all three of them, and there's all three still still alive. So sometimes you feel like your gun's just tickling them. But I mean, I've played many a game. I've got to say, and it's not for everybody, but. This game's got it all for me. Stealth, strategy, action, visuals, you know, superb soundtrack. They always say this game's very linear, you know, and the other ones, Crisis 1 and Crisis 3, are more like a sandbox sort of thing. I can understand what they're saying, but how else would you portray a secret you know cloaked soldier trying to get through the streets of New York battling through human defenses and alien defenses you know it's it's just beautiful to look at and we'll try and take this dude out with one shot there we go I mean, this is a very challenging section. If you go on a hard level, you know, as soon as you open fire, the law will be on to you. Let's kill him. He's, he's, uh, he just took the one, one last step of his entire life. 
Wrong move there, pal. Wrong move. Look at these visuals. Oh, shut up. See what I mean? You've got to put them down quick. Make as least a commotion as, as possible. There we go. Nice one shot kill there. That's what you want in times like you know in situations like this. You're trying to infiltrate a certain area. Make as less noise as possible. But then again, you first start the game, you haven't got no unlocks, so you got no you got no silencer on your gun. I know from experience there's a turd up there, it's got me a few times. Because I tend to forget about him, but not this time. Line up the shots. And down he goes. Still alive. Now there's more, more coming, so let's highlight them. Right. Cloak engaged. Just gotta be so careful here, you know. You don't get a headshot, you know, and you're wasting all your bullets, and they, they pop back, real, they pop right back up again when you don't expect it. You think you've dropped them, and then they get up again. Oh, I just cracked my knuckle. My ex missus used to love me cracking my knuckles. <laughs> Not. <laughs> so I used to do it all the more. No. Don't bother investigating when you don't know where the bleeding shots are coming from. <laughs> but the, I find the AI are quite, you know, well programmed in this game. Especially the Seth, when you throw a grenade, they'll, they'll jump and run like, like, like you won't believe. They'll sense the danger and, you know, the AI is telling them to, to get the fuck out of the way. <coughs> but this this particular section here, I just love going through it. You know, challenging myself. You know, trying different methods and alternative routes. You know? Oh, my voice is starting to play up on me. No, I get guitar in my voice when I'm talking for a lengthy period of time. Sat in the same position. But I'm concentrating and I don't want to <laughs> change my position. It's not as if I can get up while I'm in the middle of trying to get through this level. I can't <laughs> get a glass of water or something. There's nobody else here to... Oh, yes. you just got to be quick. You, and you got to be accurate. And, um, you go, go running through this section, even with the most powerful weaponry, you just... You're going to have your ass handed to you. But I think I'm virtually through this, this part now. This is the... Uh, Gets a little bit, uh, you know. This section's easier, but you still, you soon meet more enemies as you go along through the game. But look at these graphics. Now with these gameplays, normally, if I record from a capture card as normal, I will add brightness and contrast. I'll add the colour corrector and I'll add the sharpening effect. 
But when you record this recorded gameplay from this, in this case, this is DX3 that's recorded this. You don't have to add anything because the original image is more than good enough. Nothing is lost. No colours are diminished. No, no brightness and contrast is is um, you know it's very vivid from HDMI if you know what I mean. The big difference is HDMI and component, and I don't care what anyone says. That's a disadvantage of living on the main road. <laughs> Lots of that kind of thing going by, even on a Sunday morning. Which is this is at the moment. But as I say, the extra recordings of fraps recordings record it perf perfectly from what you're seeing on your HD TV. No quality loss whatsoever, you know. And even this, this is a WMV. No quality loss. Not that I can see anyway. Plus the file size is reasonable. Look at this. Look at the attention to detail there. How awesome does that look? I think the difference between um, console and PC graphics at this moment in time is like, like a, a difference between a a 5 megapixel camera and a 10 megapixel camera, you know, you, as soon as you zoom in a little bit more, you, you'll start seeing the differences. It's like these bags, I've watched the PC version and there's a hell of a lot more detail there. But I mean, how do, good do computer graphics have to look to your eyes before you enjoy the game? To me this looks fantastic and it plays fantastic, it's a, it's a great all round package. Just shine on that um, exhaust, the chrome bumpers and everywhere, you know. I mean, it looks nice now, but I'm going to blow it up. Oh man, we got ourselves a convoy. No, we fucking haven't. <laughs> we got ourselves a blown up vehicle. <laughs> Look at this ambulance. The, the de attention to detail is just amazing. I look forward to future Crytek games, you know. I know they've got one called Warface. But they've got to keep making games like this. You know, awesome games like this. I mean, for me, this game is um, futuristic without being too futuristic, as I've said before in previous videos. And that's what just what I love, you know, a hint of what could could be there in the future. Not not just totally in your face like bloody laser weaponry. This is annoying. This section, you know, it's coming up, but you've got to go with this cutscene. In reality, if you know that's coming, you'll you you go up there cloaked. Is what is what I'm trying to do now. Take him out. Take him out. Oops, nearly got my ass shot to bleed nil there. Let's get back up here. Now there's explodable objects in this section. He's down. He's down. No. Somebody behind there. Now he's <laughs> now he's now he's pizza. <laughs> I mean, I've never been attracted to the likes of um, Metal Gear Solid, you know, or Tom Clancy games where it's a lot of stealth gunplay, you know, creeping up and Surprising your enemy. 
it's never re they never really interested me those games. But this one's it's very similar in, in in the aspect of you know strategy and stealth. But it's done a hell of a lot better, and it's first person, which I prefer to third. You know, not everybody does, but I do. It's like um, Army of Two, going into detail, the latest one, with the uh, weapon customization. Let's take these three out. Not grenade, weapon customization. Then when you see the soldier with the weapon, you can hardly see the weapon. So you know, it's you want to see the gun in front of you, don't you? If if you put modifications on it, you want to see those modifications and feel out properly how they uh, affect the the way the the gun handles on screen. Now this next section here, as you go around this corner, there's two ways of um, getting round. There's that many come at you. They say, "Hello, hello, Bert." Hey, Bambi. Hello, Fred. What's up, Bambi? <laughs> just casually go past him now this section here you have to it's tricky you have to do it in a certain way so I'll demonstrate as soon as it says danger activate you know your armor get through it as fast as you can otherwise you just die halfway through you know make sure you got a full energy bar activate your armor and you'll get through this section it's just an alternative route, as they say in America. Um, and it gets you through, right, straight into the subway, which is where you need to be anyway. If you go the other way, you, you encounter all the soldiers. Uh, don't want the hell I'm highlighting here. Bit dark here, let's get through this. Let's get through this tunnel. Right, and straight away, it, we're in into the subway subway see them steps there there's where it would have come down let's, let's have a look around attention to detail you know it's just incredible best idea i'm reading dozens of heat signatures right underneath you oh dear what's going on there <laughs> oh i gotta take a piss Piss mode engaged. <sighs> That's better. I feel much better now. Did you like that little bit of improvisation? <laughs> Can't say I haven't got a sense of humour. Yeah. Video games on YouTube, you know, for me, it's it's, it's entertainment, you know. It's, it's, it's a nest. You don't have to um, there, just put straight gameplays on YouTube. Anyways, it's, it's coming through. This is the end of this particular level, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Pemby66, and I'll catch you later for more of it. As always. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Pemby66 signing off.